How's it going YouTube? Drone, do you even hear? Today we have the Fei Navigator. This is the first hexcopter that we've had on the channel. Look at the bottom here, we've got speed switch, power indicator, rolling, forward, backwards, turn left, turn right, forward and backwards, fine tuning, left and right, fly tuning, switch, headless mode, throttle lever. And they also make this as a quadcopter. On the back here, it's just a bunch of warnings in different languages that I do not speak. So, let's get this opened. Oops, cut into the box. Alright, this has the almost sealed up tight. Pull this out. Here is the controller. Nice clicky buttons, joysticks are nice. Pull out the hexcopter here. So this is her right here, pretty tiny. We got the six props on there, battery, there's your charge port, and there's your on off button. Let's see what this comes with. Looks like you got six prop guards there, USB charger, three, four, five, six, and six extra props. And a screwdriver. And we need three triple A's. Look at the user manual, got your good literature. I'm gonna charge this up, fly it around for you, come back, let you know how it is. All right, so I've been flying this guy here for a bit now, and uh, pretty fun hexcopter here. Got your two white props on the front, and then you got four black on the back for direction. Turn this on here for you. So we got blue up front, green in the middle, red in the back. Pretty fun drone here. Fly time will begin in about five minutes or so. And the charge is about 30 minutes. Perform stuns very well. Then you have two pitch rates on this guy. I guess normal and expert. And uh, when you go into expert, it flies really nice. Only problem is though, when you're yawing in expert, if you hold it down for too long, it just goes in the fur in a full cyclone, and uh, so you kind of have to get used to doing it so it's not pitching all the way to the left all the time so it's not going in a cyclone. I do like that it's a hexcopter. It keeps it a little unique. I like doing reviews on drones that are just a little bit outside the box, a little different. It makes it a little more interesting than just having a basic quad every time. It's just different motor, battery, board on it. I've crashed it quite a few times and haven't had any issues with prop breakage. 
pretty lightweight so when it falls it's not causing a lot of damage to itself I haven't had any synchronizing issues any range issues uh, just <clears throat> tell it to do something it does it so I'll fly this around for you guys let you see it in action up down sinker up Red, green, blue, blue to front. Real smooth flyer. That's um, pitch rate one. So pitch rate two. Now on pitch rate two, when you go to yaw, let's see, one Mississippi two, hold it for two seconds, you're going into a full cyclone. It's something you kind of get used to. We'll do some stunts for you. So pretty, pretty smooth flips on it. Mm -hmm. and that's about it for this hexcopter. Not a lot to it. Oh, we gotta do a uh, power test here. Alright, we have her at idle. Fairly decent. Pretty quiet too. Not one of the quieter ones. You don't want to annoy your housemates too much. That is it for battery life. Overall, I think this is a nice little micro drone. A little more unique with the uh, hexcopter than the quad. Performs well, good battery life. Get good run time. <clears throat> Charge time's not too long. Stunts work okay. If you're interested in getting a micro drone, you want something a little different, i definitely check this one out. Plus my favorite. Good storage, you're not flying it. You don't want to throw it in a bag or something. You don't have to worry about breaking any props, doing any damage to it. And there you go. So thank you for watching. Ask any questions down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more drone videos. See you on the next one. Late.